All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the Glock 19 Gen 4 versus a Glock 19 X. And this is kind of a Gen 4 and a half. And today we're ultimately going to be talking about which one is best, which one I like the most for everyday carry, and kind of giving you guys an overall opinion of these two very similar handguns, like which one's best for everyday carry, which one's better for shooting, and all of that fun jazz. So without any further ado, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram. Okay, guys, so these are both unloaded, as I showed in the kind of intro, but today we're looking at a Gen 4 this one is a bit of a modded out version, uh, kind of a Gucci Glock, if you will. It does have an aftermarket slide with a Trijicon RMR, some night sights, of course, an aftermarket Faxon barrel, and uh, of course, it is threaded for fun stuff. So the other one we're looking at is a fairly plain Jane Glock 19X. This one, of course, does have the extended slide release, slide lock on it, because I think any Glock, if you can make one modification to any Glock, uh, at all. Definitely always add a an extended slide release side lock because they are very handy, very useful. And yeah, so that's basically the additions or the modifications that I've made to both of these and realistically what you can expect to be able to make for but as far as modifications go, what can you realistically expect to be able to make on both of these? So the Glock 19X is pretty hard to modify unless you go with an aftermarket slide or you have yours milled for a very high cost. Of course, there is no MOS or kind of uh, optic ready version of the 19X. It's really, you get it as it is. And for a lot of people, even myself included, I'm not a huge, um, like I'm not very disappointed in that. It's not necessarily a big deal. Having a red dot, I will say, is my preferred way to go, especially for EDC, because I think red dots are so much easier to use than normal sights, especially in adverse conditions like low light situations and stuff. But um, either way, you know, having a flat kind of flat sided rail or flat sided uh, slide is pretty nice having a flat sided slide is pretty nice and pretty easy or kind of superior for concealability. But for the most part, I think, especially if you're running appendix, it's not a huge deal. So the big thing that, uh, so yeah, that's as far as kind of like customization. Of course, you can add flared magwells, but one thing you should note with flared magwells is that there is this kind of portion right here on the G19X that you do have to either cut off, dremel off, if you're going to add any type of flared uh, magwell or even certain flared base plates because of that fact that it kind of gets in the way. So do keep that in mind when it comes to the uh, frame of the 19X, you will need to potentially modify it. Aside from that, there's really not too much more that you could or really want to do with the 19X. Now, of course, the Glock 19 itself, this is just a Gen 4. Gen 3s have plenty of customization, Gen 5s as well. And the Gen 5, of course, comes with the MOS kind of feature. So the MOS is optic cut. This is, of course, an aftermarket slide that already has an optic cut with an optic mounted to it. But um, this is, I think, a good poster child of what you can do to a Glock 19. The Glock 19 is kind of the poster child for mods as well, but you have a flared magwell, a red dot sight, of course, aftermarket sights, which I actually need to get to suppressor height, but um, and then of course a extended or kind of flared out uh, magazine or slide lock, I should say, slide lock and release. I think the only thing that this one doesn't have that's out, that could be aftermarket is an extended um, mag release and an aftermarket trigger which i'm not really a big fan of aftermarket triggers for me i have shot them on glocks i think that the stock sh the stock trigger is just fine i really don't have an issue with it especially for carry guns uh, i think a lot of people have said that before so yeah it's really not a big issue for me this one is just fine so yeah there are a lot of cool options you can do to this setup and system to get good performance out of it and that's really not quite an option with the 19x because it kind of is how it is and so that is a big disadvantage of it so so what is the biggest advantage of the 19X? Now, a lot of people, even myself sometimes, will say that this is probably the best Glock out there because it blends, that X kind of means that it's a hybrid gun or a crossover pistol, as Glock literally calls it. And so it has that longer full-sized frame of the Glock 17, allowing for 17 round flush fitting magazines, or of course, plus two extensions, or you name it, the sky's the limit on what you can put as far as extended magazines 
into these guns. And the biggest thing that you gain from having that full-sized grip is that you have comfortable room for a full grip on this gun. And what that also means too is it is a very nice shooting gun. Of course, it does have the 19 sized slide. So you have a shorter slide, longer handle, so lower reciprocating mass, which generally equates to a more shootable handgun. And in my opinion, I've shot these two back to back and I'm probably gonna roll in some footage of it. And generally and genuinely, this gun really feels super controllable, even at higher rates of fire. Firing. like when you're really trying to squeeze shots off even without the red dot um, I would say that this gun feels super in control and you just feel like you have a really good grip a really solid base when you're holding this handgun and I think that's the biggest advantage of it is is sheer shootability and this is definitely like a shooter's Glock uh, outside of like race Glocks like the 34 and you know more competitive or competition styled Glocks uh, this is probably the closest you can get to competition for a realistic everyday carry or carry gun and so that's the biggest thing I like about it in addition to and the reason why I bought this gun was at the time the capacity especially the flush fitting capacity so this thing ships with 19 round magazines so 17 plus 2 with one in the chamber it gets you up to 20 rounds which is as much as an FN 57 for instance to put that into perspective uh, but it's a 9 mil and at the time that I got this a few years ago you know there were some times in interesting things happening in the US. So the reason why I wanted to get a handgun that could carry 20 rounds was in case there was a multi-threat engagement where I might have to fire upon where some, where, where an example or an instance might break out where I might have to engage multiple aggressors. And in that type of case, you know, that's where a lot of people might say, you know, why do you want 20 rounds? That's a bit excessive for one person. And yeah, if one person is trying to attack you, certainly I'm never gonna hear anyone complain that they had too many bullets to defend themselves with, but certainly against multiple people or in a potential riot or, you know, other kinds of issues, um, having the ability to engage multiple threats or have the capacity in a magazine to readily engage multiple threats is important and so anyways that is another advantage that I think a lot of people don't necessarily see with this gun you know they might say oh you know that handles just so long it's hard to carry but I actually feel like this is a pretty carryable size and so once again having a 19 plus one capacity is very handy for multiple threat engagement um, to put it nicely so going over to the Glock 19, once again, you have that kind of compact uh, grip. So I still feel, especially with a flared magwell, that there's plenty of grip here. I do not feel like I'm going to come off the handgun at all. I have shot Glock 26s and it feels like your pinky is just really just like hanging off kind of like this. And it's awkward. You can get good with it and shoot just fine. I shoot Glock 26s just fine. But uh, I do really like the 19 because I feel like it's the smallest thing where I still get a confident grip in my handgun. But at the same time too, there's no excess. Like my hand is right there you know it is hanging right off the grip and so there's no excess but I still have a comfortable confident grip in the gun in addition to you do lose those four extra rounds or two if you're just going with a flush fitting base plate so you do end up with 15 plus one uh, in this handgun. Of course, the cool thing about Glock 19s is you can take 15 round magazines you can take 17 19 and you name it, of course, this thing will accept, you know, higher capacity magazines, like I run a spare 19 round magazine for this handgun. So you can see it does look a little bit big and probably a little bit goofy in the handgun, but for a tactical reload, if you needed to, you could easily throw, you know, a 19 round magazine into this and have plenty of firepower. In addition, though, one of the biggest reasons why I like to carry this gun is even though it's not significantly or substantially longer or sh sorry, shorter than the Glock 19, as you guys can see there, that really like inch and a half less in handle length really does make it a lot more carryable and a lot easier to conceal, especially with um, like six o'clock carry where the gun's more like on your hip. Uh, pushing towards small back appendix. I will say they're about equal, but I will say this gun is just a little bit easier to carry appendix than um, the 19X, but by and large, it's pretty comparable. Biggest thing I will say I do like about shooting this guy is that 
but I will say definitely shooting this guy is noticeably more snappy than the 19X. So do keep that in mind, but in my opinion, like the 19X with its iron sights is probably just about as fast in target acquisition and target refire. Like if you're trying to shoot quickly and accurately. This gun is probably just as fast with a red dot sight as the Glock 19X is with iron sights. And it's just kind of that, uh, it's not a lot of time and it's kind of hard to explain, but it's that little bit, that little length longer that you have to reacquire your sights after you shoot with iron sights. Whereas with a red dot, it's super fast to reacquire target and shoot again. So I will say when it comes down to the 19X, you know, it's competitive advantage and fast firing is kind of diminished with a the addition of a good red dot sight on a 19. So in the end, which one do I think you should carry, the 19X or the 19? For me, it's tough. I still own both of them for a solid reason. There are times when I really do like my 19X, and there are times when I do really like my 19. As far as like EDC goes, I will give it to the 19, just because a good, like I said, optics ready or optics equipped 19, in my opinion, I think, and I shoot this guy just as fast as this guy. Now, an iron sighted 19 would be a little bit slower than a, um, a non-optic sighted 19X, but I do think if you set up your Glock 19 right and you do a good job, this guy is every bit as fast as the 19X. The biggest disadvantage for me is in kind of stock or base uh, carry because this guy will easily hold a you know 19 round magazine whereas this it does look a little bit goofy and a little bit weird and you have like kind of an exposed magazine which once again for tactical reloads and range practice isn't a huge deal but for edc it can kind of get caught on clothing and jammed up so you do really want to carry it with a flush fit magazine whereas once again the flush fit magazine for this is like 19 or 17 to 19 rounds. So you do see a difference in, you know, your ability to carry a few more rounds, which is a big advantage in certain situations. But by and large, I think that the 19 is pretty darn hard to beat overall. And definitely if I'm doing a range session, uh, I definitely like using the 19X a little bit more because it is more comfortable to shoot in a little bit, uh, is a little bit easier and more comfortable to shoot, especially for newer shooters. But uh, as far as carry goes, I'm still going back to my 19. And honestly, when it comes to the majority of my time carrying, it is still with a Glock 19. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this comparison. Hopefully it was informative. As always, God bless, and I'm out.